Meanwhile, serious new concerns this morning about the long-term impact of COVID-19. A new study shows that in some cases, the virus can attack the brain, resulting in long-term neurological effects. NBC News health and medical reporter Erica Edwards joins us now with more on these latest findings. Erica, good morning. This is sort of a scary one and one that I know we keep slowly learning more about. So walk us through this new report. We've heard of COVID impacting a patient's lungs, of course, but tell us exactly what it can do to other parts of the body, including the brain and what effect it has, especially long term. Yeah. Hey, Savannah, good morning. So first of all, this research is considered quite preliminary, but it suggests that the virus can impact the brain directly going through the nose, which makes sense, right? Considering all the people who lost their sense of smell early on. But it suggests that once this uh, SARS-CoV-2 virus infects neurons in the brain, it can then travel to other parts of the brain, regions that affect things like emotion, mood, and memory. Savannah? Now, Erica, could this explain that brain fog symptom that we've heard a lot of recovering patients experience? Is that what this is or any other cognitive issues? Savannah, that's exactly right. And that's certainly the theory that these scientists are going on right now. Another new study found marked differences in the brain waves um, when they compared Mm -hmm. COVID-19 patients who were never even sick enough to be hospitalized compared with others who tested negative for COVID-19. And basically what they're thinking it meant was that their brains were not working as efficiently or as effectively as they could have, Savannah. And so now even with this new report, with some of this information we now have, how much more research needs to be done in order to get more conclusive answers on this disease's long-term impact on people? A tremendous amount. Mm. Again, this is very early. Uh, It has not been peer reviewed yet, but there is a sense of urgency among scientists worldwide Um, to try to figure out what's going on with these people who are experiencing profound fatigue and brain fog, you know, months after their initial uh, infection. Here in the U.S., it's estimated that, you know, that's about 11 million people just in this country alone. Um, And there's no treatment, Savannah. They're really just left um, either treating their symptoms or really just dealing with their issues on their own.